So that's how you cook catfish. <laughs> so anyway, moving on. <clears throat> My lawyer, Mr. Sock, helped me get some uh, information uh, from the the GIS or the GIS, however you say it properly, GIF or um. You know, however it's pronounced properly. I don't even know the acronym. Geo, geo something, I service. And I got these documents, 19 of them, by asking a special question. Something, I asked something, if, if they had the GIS office, I walked to the GIS office and I asked them if they had something about a property sheet or something that identifies and describes land and includes the zoning. I didn't ask if they would stamp it. Something like a property sheet. I gave him the address. He was like, oh, is that Southland Baptist? And I'm like, yep. And then he started printing these out. And they're not exactly in order. Whoops. Wait a second. I sort of have things mixed in there that I don't want. All right, just a second here. All right, just moving that over, okay. <clears throat> and after looking at them for a little bit, I, oops seen some uh, stuff that I might want to bring with me to my trial some newfound information because these uh, alleged emails which I never I never uh, noticed the whole time I never noticed until somebody pointed out that that they're they're redacted so there were all the from was erased all of these eight emails from and and all of that <clears throat> and just looking at the latest one <clears throat> you could see that uh, the maintenance man approached me well there that means me is the cop so the from is a cop and stated he has been finding syringes at the barbecue pavilion Okay, hold on a second. We got the uh, pavilion. Now these are out of order. I got a picture of that of that in here somewhere. And I got there's two pavilions, but that's well, it's the barbecue pavilion. All right, this is one pavilion. I don't believe that to be the barbecue pavilion though. And then there's another pavilion. There's two, two pavilions, covered patio, okay, maybe they got a name for it. The bar, I believe this to be the barbecue pavilion. So, this right here, um, does it have a label? Let's see, neighborhood not supported, topography not used, gable roof type, building is in good average condition, Kayla Edward, okay, uh, the is zoned residential, but the residential says none, it's all wood. <clears throat> so it was it was uh the picture was taken October 9th, 2023 of this and if you look carefully there's nothing up there. There's nothing point and this is October 9th of 2023. Okay, you could see that dates they put for that pavilion. Then I believe that to be the pavilion 
that was referred to in this latest email. So May May 2023 or March, no March. Okay. 2023 they're saying the barbecue pavilion has syringes in it. So we got what uh um to the end so we'll just uh skip march april may june july august september october we got seven months and <clears throat> from that report about syringes <clears throat> they never put up a sign saying no trespassing and a security camera warning as well <clears throat> No trespassing and a security cam uh, signs are up there uh, according to the, the police. So for seven months, they never did it. And then in Jan January, they, they, uh, the, the cops took a picture of it with uh, a no trespassing sign. Now, at what point between October... And uh, November, December, January, January 3rd, the early part of January, the late part, <clears throat> the late part of October, or no, the early part of October, so we could count on October, November, December, you know, within three months, after waiting seven months, all right, after their uh, report, then we have seven months clearly no sign and then three months up and then a sign uh, appeared within the three months uh on my arrest or after my arrest that's what it's looking like to me it looks like the the cops put up that no trespassing sign or or a, or a, um like told told the church to put it up so that they could take a picture of the no trespassing sign. It looks dirty. It looks like a dirty, <clears throat> a dirty move on their part to try to solidify my all, all in an effort to solidify my conviction in, in a jury trial. All right. The gist says there was no sign up long, long after that report about needles somewhere. And I don't really have any other... I do have that, that picture from the cop, but that's that's on uh, the tablet. Maybe I could show it. It's, it's kind of easy to access. Just got to scoot, scoot around. Is it a screenshot? All right, this is the photo... And you could clearly see some nice new looking signs. Security cameras in use, post a note. Look at how new they, they look. Nice new looking signs sitting there. Two signs. <clears throat> As opposed to in October where there's nothing. January 2024, October 2023. They also had a barbecue type of thing sitting there. You see the fence. Oh, you can't see the fence. This is a different angle of this church. <clears throat> so I didn't, I didn't see any signs. I mean, it's a church. I just wanted a place to rest. I didn't know any better. I didn't know they gave me so. There's a garbage can there. You can see his uh, rearview mirror. So what does that show exactly? You can see fence. What's in his partial rear view mirror? Another car? Part of the fence. Some vehicles possibly. Uh, but that's that's part of the fence. But yeah, this this is this is a difference you know they it's not just a, a no trespassing sign they have also put up security camera signs as well so that was, that's a big move on their part on their point you can see that 
that uh, ventilation in the center on the top actually uh, accumulated something on the corner. Oh no, that's just dust. Okay. <clears throat> so clearly this, uh, those look like new signs freshly put up fresh new signs they felt that that's a good investment all to to convict me of this uh you know a stranger in a new town type of uh case but uh, yeah this this uh the get the gist they go around and take pictures and get valuations almost it seems like on a regular basis of the local area keeping everything up to date on a with a lot of a lot of uh, information a lot of detail that you wouldn't even think about kitchen bedroom full bath half bath they just check off the boxes so that's that's the type of prosecutor I'm I'm, I'm fighting against. I'm working uh, with redacted emails and and you know lying cops, cops lying about the law and contracts. Uh, prosecutors lying about who sent the emails. I mean, Cade Foster clearly said at my hearing that it was sent all by the the church. But the language, the language in the emails, doesn't really speak to uh, the church talking. Talking. These these are not these aren't messages from the church. These are messages from somebody somebody else. I mean, and I I, uh, I have to admit I, I I'm not a great detective. Somebody actually had to mention it to me. They got a map of the floor plan to Southland Baptist. Well, don't I have a map to the floor plan myself? Maybe, maybe the fire department or the police have a a different kind of map. I got a map right here. Are they getting Are they getting this kind? Is this Is this the type of map that they get? Second floor is. So you got all this open space, the property sketch. So what happened? Did the, the cops, the cops think they needed to get a map directly from the, the church back in 2022 when they could have just gone over to the GIS office and gotten that same information? Maybe they didn't know. Or is it, or is it considered more detail? They need there's more detail, like where the where the TV is located or the refrigerator. They get more detail. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I oh here we go. I responded to a burglary. No, that doesn't mean that the church wrote that. All right, from. And they don't want to say who the cop was. We're talking about different cops. I responded. They are requesting extra patrol. Okay. These are not emails from the church. So. That's what I'm working with. And. I mean. The prosecutor has been silent for. On, on these emails now for over a month. I, I did have a chance when I returned. I went down south to uh, to escape the winter storm. Spent a, a month away from Paducah after my arrest. After my first hearing, the day of my first hearing, I left town and went south <clears throat> for warmer weather. And, I mean... Just since then, it's I haven't gotten anything. So, I've gotten help from as many people as I can, but not everybody can do, do anything for me, right? Mr. Sock, what, what's going on with these people, Mr. Sock? These people are being extremely difficult to work with. 
we can't get any evidence from them and that's a due process violation that we have to bring up to court so um i just just have to wait to see what the judge says about this um on march 14th and, and i mean that's all i can do is just wait prepare you know what what uh youtube you videos are they gonna are they are they gonna use i have to guess um that's that's i had to guess with uh Clyde benjamin and natchitoches louisiana too i had no idea what what pictures what videos he was going to bring up to to force me to uh do the in-camera inspection of the librarians uh interviews i mean like two days before my trial Cloyd benjamin brings up these these newfound um, interviews with the librarians, he was like holding in his back pocket. And uh, this prosecution in Paducah is no different. The Southern prosecution, they hold things in their office, in their back pocket, waiting to spring on me at the last minute, like right before my trial. And it's just the Southern way, I guess. So, uh, it's, it's just a lot of waiting. I mean, I make the time for them. I mean, that's why, that's why I'm a bum in a lot of ways. If they want to uh, charge me with the crime, I reserve as much time for them as, as, uh, as needed. And it's, it requires a lot of time. Williston took a lot of time. Steamboat Springs took a lot of time. Natchitoches took a lot of time the back and forth the court dates court date uh hearing number three is coming up here uh you just i mean a lot a lot of people um a lot of people get uh like tapped out after a, a certain bit but uh, i'm i dig in my heels uh, I live as cheaply as I can, and, and uh, I just put up with it. I mean, it happens all over the country, north, south. Yeah, I call it the Southern way, but it's really not exactly. It's it's just the, it's the prosecutor's way. It's not exactly, because North, Williston, North Dakota was horrible trying trying to spring new new things on me, get me, get me uh, um, thrown in jail for various reasons. I was thrown in jail twice, and they were trying to get me thrown in jail the third time, all over the same thing about being in the library. So just waiting. It's a few, few days, uh, six days now from today. So just waiting.